Hi everyone and welcome. Today we're going to have a look at the mining process. So you need to create a new directory and then you need to copy the file that we created during the previous class, the JavaScript file, because we will need to modify that one. So we need to add this library over here, which is going to allow me to create a nice progress bar. And then we modify the class block, adding this nonce over here. Nonce means number only used once. And in a while, we're going to be seeing how this number is actually used. For the time being, we just need to have a look at the hashing function. And we notice that we are appending the nonce to the string, which is used to create the hash for the block. And now we can have a look at the mine function. The goal of the mine function is to create the hash for the block according to certain requirements. The requirements are that the hash is going to be padded with a certain amount of leading zeros. Now, the number of leading zeros is controlled by this variable over here, difficulty. So when difficulty is five, we're gonna have five zeros and then the remaining part of the hash. Why is that? Well, that's because this sort of hash is stronger than the hash that we've been calculating during the previous class. So when the hash is shorter because it's padded with a certain amount of zero, it is also stronger than a bigger hash. Let's have a look at the actual code. So here, as you can see, the constructor of the block also calculates the hash, but that's just a temporary one. In fact, in here, in the mine function, we are going to check whether the hash that we just calculated actually meets the requirement. So for example, if the difficulty is five, we are going to extract the very first five chars from the Ash, and then if they are all zeros, that's okay, the ash is correct. If they don't match the requirement, then we are going to increase the nonce, and then we calculate the ash again. Just remember that the nonce is right here. So when this becomes one, obviously the ash is also going to change. And now the last couple of modifications that you need to push are here in the blockchain class. So you need to define the difficulty and then you need to get rid of the hashing function and then you need to replace it with the mine. And as usual, you need to define a few coins with data, right? Okay, so we need to do the setup of the application. So npm init with all the folds. That's good. Yes. Perfect. So mp actually we do n and then yes, yeah, so npm install and then crypto. This one, right? And then we also install this one. And then now we are ready to mine. So this number over here is the cycles. So each unit of this number is a cycle through the, the while that we just studied. Let's see how long it takes. Um, I reckon it's going to take quite a while, but we're going to be observing for some time. Just to understand how it works, because then I'm going to be changing the um, difficulty and I'm going to show you that when difficulty decreases, the time which is going to be required to find the new ash is going to be, uh, in the average, is going to be um, much shorter.
So we found the first coin. We are working on the second one. And there is a lot of work that is being done by the CPU because it's basically uh, an endless uh, wild cycle. So that's, that's a lot of work for the CPU. And as you can see, the second hash was found pretty easy. So it makes you think that actually finding this coin, finding this hash is more like winning a lotto because you might actually be lucky and being able to find the, the right ash right right on the spot right very quickly and as you can see the third coin is taking a while still working it looks like that yeah the third coin was actually a little bit more difficult than the first one while the second one as you can see the bar stayed to zero uh, percent and then we are working on the fourth one and then I don't know whether I should stop the recording because I think you've got the gist uh, of the inner working and now we are here on the fourth value and it's taking taking a while it's taking a while it's right now i think is the is the number one is the most difficult <laughs> it seems to be yeah it seems it seems that it's going to take a while on this one i can't remember if i define four or five coins um Oh, finally, the bar is actually being populated. And still nothing. Uh, it looks like the, the fourth coin is a little bit unlucky. Nothing, nothing found so far. And then uh, the interesting part is that now I'm going to modify the uh, difficulty and we are going to be lowering the difficulty from five to let's say three or four and you're going to be notice that it's going to be extremely quick and then we finally found the fourth one and we're working on the fifth one so yes i did define five coins and then let's see how it goes with this one i don't know maybe maybe i should stop it but yeah, I guess we're almost there. So I guess we can just wait and see what happens. I'm just getting curious whether uh, this one is going to be the quickest or it's just going to be in the average or it might be actually uh, be the hardest. And uh, I can see the numbers increasing, increasing, increasing while my CPU is spinning <laughs> like crazy uh, yeah it is it is really easy to to make the cpu running you can just create an endless loop and <laughs> and it's still working still working still working nothing found nothing we're still there we're still there nothing the fourth one see two percent so far that was the hardest one and then even this one is taking quite a while quite a while still nothing oh well actually define six maybe well i'm gonna be stopping this one so i can show you something else oh that was What's, that was extremely quick. Well, anyway, I'm going to stop it. Okay, now we change the difficulty. Change. Here it is. From 5 to 3. And now it's going to be super quick. You're going to see it. 
Okay, here it is. Now, as you can see, it is much easier to find the ash. So this is also as uh, some sort of financial uh, meaning. That means that if I want to release more coins, I can just decrease the difficulty. If I want to release less coin, I can just increase the difficulty. Increasing the difficulty also makes the network much more stronger, much more safer, because to find this ash is going to be much harder. So more coins means uh, lower difficulty. Less coins, higher difficulty, but then when the difficulty increases, the network also becomes safer. And uh, I guess that will be all for today. I didn't go through the code for creating this status bar. It's pretty easy. I guess you should be able to figure it out by yourself. And also you can have a look at my video. You should be able to copy the, the part of the code that you need. Uh, if you have any problem, just no problem, just uh, drop a comment and I'll reply to you. So um, I hope you've enjoyed my class and uh, thank you very much.